Hello and greetings from Eastern Europe, my name is Colbert HD and this is a short review of a pixel art hack and slash RPG called Children of Morta. Enjoy! This game got my attention about a year ago, when I was creating some list of upcoming pixel art games and the idea that I can do game reviews wasn't even on the table. But here I am playing Children of Morta and trying to be sober enough to tell you the story. So allegedly, this is RPG with feelings, where you have a family and members of that family care for each other. Here you will find nice narrative about family problems, about their children, but actually all you want to do here is hack and slash the Shultiborshi out of your enemies instead of listening how little Artyom got his first knife and how his mother was against it and how he ran away and yeah, I don't really remember true name of the kid so I'll just call him Artyom. Those stories are nice but let's be fair and square and triangle, this is hack and slash game with feelings. Have you seen movies like Predator or Rambo? Would you put a love story or drama elements in there? How much vodka do you have to drink to make a love story from Rambo? That's a rhetorical question, don't try to answer it with a practical experiment at home. Or try and tell the story in the comment section. So all this aside, you can skip the story parts, but you don't want to. You want to know what is happening, so you watch them and get bored. The plot is nice, I guess, but it's a bit childish, everything sounds like a bedtime story and for me a 35 year old man this just doesn't click hack and slash part is another story let's talk about that instead that part i do like game is really beautiful one of the best made pixel art games there are no doubt so the combat feels right and your sword swings are satisfying to watch and to swing i guess but also the game is hard i managed to die over and over again and i'm not really a total noob of this genre i try to avoid enemies try to lure them in the bunch so i can strike them together with my lightning power all in all i did everything average player would do but i died anyway and after you die you immediately have to watch a story you feel infuriated of the game's unfairness and they are speaking about artyom and his problems slowly stories are really taking their time and you just want to go back and swing your sword again not listen to this not now so sooner or later you start to skip and then go die again, then skip the story, die again, then you don't understand what's happening anymore, but you don't really care. How many of you have listened to what Diablo 3 characters are really talking about? I didn't. Skip, 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 and then slash, 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 slash. By the way, little Artyom's parents are worried when he disappeared, but that is illogical, because when you die, you go back safe and sound. There is nothing to worry about in this world, like at all. And by playing, I realized that you're supposed to die here, because after death your experience is maintained and you go back to the same dungeon stronger than before if you manage to level up there of course by the way leveling up is pain because it's very slow and whole process starts to feel like grinding sooner or later when i died the first time with my level 2 character i tried to pick another one let's see how that went for me Not very well I guess, and there was nothing I could do actually, because this character is still level 1 and I couldn't get through this dungeon with even level 2 character. Maybe the case here is that you can play with a friend in cop mode, so while the warrior tanks the damage, the shooter shoots? I have read the comments about that, people are actually saying that cop part is great. I have no friends that would play this with me, so I couldn't test it. By playing you acquire warrior skills that you can use, like lightning I am using. Also you have a base where you can spend your gold for upgrades, those work for the entire family, so if you manage to buy one with the money that warrior earned, little Artyom also gets all the benefits. Sadly there are no weapons, armor or other stuff drops, your appearance is locked and you have to do all the slashing with the same dirty sweater. So what's the verdict? For me personally, it's 6 vodkas out of 10, but I can very easy imagine that for someone it can be 10 vodkas out of 10, or rakias, or or bourbons or whatever you drink in your country to get better. Story is interesting if you're here for the story. 
If you just want to hack and slash like me, maybe you want to buy another game. Steam is filled with very positive reviews, so this game might be a good choice for you. Read them carefully before buying. Thank you for watching. If you click that like button, I promise you will never ever in your life dream about Justin Bieber. All your dreams will be Justin Bieber free. See you in the next video. Let the marinated herring guide you through your journeys. Bye.